Hello friends, I'm Dr. Paramita Gupta, SS Memorial College, Department of Zoology, Kake Road, Rachi. Today I'm dealing the topic fish and fisheries. This is for semester 6, zoology specific DSE 3, unit 1, introduction and classification. Okay, now unlike mammals, fish are cold blooded, they are ectotherms. This means that they do not maintain a constant internal body temperature. Instead, their temperature is generally influenced by their environment. True fish have a backbone and fins. Most also breathe with the gills and have scales that cover their body. It is currently believed that fish began to evolve about 480 million years ago. So now there are about 22,000 known species of the fish. A fish's fin are used for balance and to help propel and steer through the water. Okay. Most fish have two types of fins, single fins that are found along the central line that is top and bottom. We can also call it as lateral line okay, of the fish and paired fins. The caudal fins or the tail fin is the main fin used to move the fish forward in the water while the dorsal and the anal fins that is on the top and bottom respectively helps the fish to balance and keep it from rolling over. The paired fins help with steering and hovering. Fine. On the outside of the skin most fish have scales. They overlap in rows and help protect the fish against injuries and infection. Okay, that is the work of the scales. Fine. Now some species for example the puffer fish do not have scales. The edges of scales are jagged and sharp in some fish and smooth and rounded in the others. Generally, jo fishes hum log ghar mein use karte for eating ya keeping as pet they are having fins rounded okay, and smooth. Now fish secrete, secrete a covering of mucus over the scales to further protect against infection. Okay? The mucus traps and immobilizes the bacteria and viruses keeping them from entering the fish's body. This covering also helps reduce friction. Got it? So allowing the fish to move easily through the water. Why friction? Hame bhi friction chahiye to move on the surface. Gaadiyo ko bhi friction chahiye among the, between the tires and the road. There is friction to move uh, smoothly. Similarly with the fish also. Fine. To breathe under water, fish have developed special organs called gills. Hamare paas kya hai? Lungs. So now the gills found on the side of the fish just behind the head contains thousands of capillaries or tiny blood vessels. Gills ke andar kya hai? Thousands of capillaries and tiny blood vessels. Water is constantly pumped over the gills which filter the oxygen out of the water and directly into the fish's blood. Humne ya oxygen ka naam kyun liya? The dissolved oxygen in the water. Alak se kuch nahi. Agar fish surface pe bhi nahi aari oxygen lene ke liye. Still the dissolved oxygen in the water the, that enters the gill, the gill slits. It is able to take up. Okay. A gill cover, the operculum, is a flexible bony plate that helps protect the sensitive gills. Gills are also important for excretion of waste products, particularly ammonia from the fish's bloodstream. Okay. Now fish have a unique internal organ also known as the swim bladder or the air bladder. This is also very important. How, why fishes can swim? Because of the presence of this air bladder and the structural uh, balance that is made by the skin. Alright. It is usually found in the abdomen and it helps move up or down in the water. By adjusting the amount of air in the bladder, fish can adjust the depth at which they float without continuously having to swim. 
In some fish, the swim bladder is also used to produce sounds. Members of the shark and ray class Lasmobranchs do not have a swim bladder. This can come in one word answer. Now many fishes have excellent vision and can see colors. They also have nostrils and are able to detect odors in the water. Odors means smell. Now fish may or may not have teeth depending on the species. Another organ of sense unique to fish is called the lateral line. Beach mein ek orange color ki line rati hai. Jo fish ko do vertical hisso mein baatti hai. That is the lateral line. That is a sense organ located along the side of the fish. It contains small sensory hairs that help detect underwater vibrations and determines their source. Enabling fish to navigate even in low light or mercury water. Mercury water fish ko kab mil jata hai bhai? Wo tab milta hai jab hum unhe as pets ghar pe rakhte hain. Fine? So this is a general description of the fish. We will now read about the classification of the fish. Classification of fish. Fish, the member of Animalia kingdom, is classified into phylum Chordata and Vertebrata subphylum. Now the fishes they possesses notochord, tubular nerve cord, paired gills, segmentation of the body parts, post anal tail, ventral heart, and an endoskeleton to be the member of the Chordata. Okay, why they are grouped into Chordata? So these were the some of the characteristics. Next, in order to be a vertebrate, it possesses a backbone. This backbone supports and protects the spinal cord. All the species of the fish found in the world are classified into following three groups. You have to only study up to the class in your present syllabus. Fine. So, what are the groups that are divided? They are basically divided into three main groups. One is Agnetha, which means jawless fishes. Second is Chondrichthys, means cartilaginous fishes. This is an example. We have examples of jawless fishes. We have examples of cartilaginous fishes and their various descriptions as well. The third group is Osteichthys. Osteichthys. O S T E I C H T H Y E S. These are the bony fishes. Under this also there are two categories. One is ray finned group, and the other one is lobe finned group. So about fifty species of Agnetha fish, yeah, six hundred species of Chondrichthys fishes, and thirty thousand species of Osteichthys fishes are found in the world. Most of the fishes. In the bony group belong to the ray finned group. According to the biologists, there are about 70 fish orders are found in the world. Sharks and rays, sorry, that is sharks and rays, R A Y S, sturgeon and gars, herring like fishes, trot and salmon, eels, minnows, suckers and catfish, flying fish and Relatives that is the cod fish, cod like fish, flat fish, seahorses, and relatives like mullets, silver slides, and mackerels and tunas are the main group of fishes. We will talk about Agnetha, phylum Chordata, subphylum Vertebrata. Now, the Agnethan are the jawless fish and lack paired fins. They also lack the internal skeletal system. They have a circular tooth, mouth. मतलब क्या है? Cyclostomic है. कैसा mouth है उसका? Cyclostomic, by which they bore the body of their victim and suck their blood. These are classified into two major types. They are the hagfish, H-A-G, hagfish, and the lampreys. Extinct है अभी. ठीक है कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ एग्नेथा क्या होगा जॉज आर एब्सेंट एग्नेथा ग्ना मींस जॉ 
ए मीन्स लैकिंग सो ए ज्ञा था जॉज आर एब्सेंट पेड फिन्स आर एब्सेंट बोनी स्केल्स एंड स्किन प्लेट्स वेर प्रेजेंट इन द एशियन स्पीशीज बट आर एब्सेंट इन द लिविंग स्पीशीज गिल पाउचेज आर एब्सेंट दे हैव सेवन और मोर पाउचेज फाइन स्टमक इज ऑल्सो एब्सेंट इन द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम ऑफ द ऑफ द एग्नेथन फिशेज द सेकेंड क्लास इज कॉन्ड्रैक्थिस फाइलम कॉडाटा स फाइलम वर्टिब्रेटा भाई क्या है ये दीज आर फियर सम प्रीडेटर्स एंड हार्मलेस मोलास ईटर्स आर द मेम्बर्स ऑफ द कॉन्ड्रैक्थिस फियर सम प्रीडेटर्स एंड हार्मलेस मोलास ईटर्स ठीक है द मेम्बर ऑफ द कार्टिजिनस फिश पोजेज इज ट्रू बोन ऑल्सो पोजेज अ स्केलीटन मेड अप ऑफ कार्टिलेज ओनली द टीथ ऑफ दिस स्पीशीज आर rarely the vertebrae are classified sharks skates and rays make up the group of this chondrichthys okay osteasis phylum chordata sa phylum vertebrata now this osteasis there are about 30000 species of the bony fishes that are found in this class fishes that belong to this species are spindle shaped oval in section and flattened skins are protected by protective scales some fishes of this category have actual lungs to breathe and also have sharp eyesight these bony fishes have a special gas filled chamber called air bladder housed under the skeleton to allow them to remain buoyant buoyant means to float on the water theek hai another adaptation is operculum ye operculum abhi hum logon ne padha hai uska kya matlab hua covering of the gill a bone on the sides of the fish to protect the chambers that house the gills what is this operculum it is a bone on the sides of the fish to protect the chambers that house the gills house the gills matlab jiske andar gills rehta hai okay now the bony fish are again classified into ray finned and lobe finned fishes ray finned fishes kya hote hain ray finned fishes have thin flexible skeleton rays and the lobe finned fishes have muscular fins supported by bones bony fish fertilizes either internally or externally and two types of eggs are laid by the bony fish they are the eggs that float and the eggs that sink characteristics of osteasis like they have more or less bony skeleton and numerous vertebrae mucus glands are embedded dermal scales are present in the skin they have paired fins they have jaws are present gill arcs support the gills and are protected by the operculum some of the examples can be lungfish eels arc lizard fish silver sides and salmons these are of the class bony fishes